Hello, thanks for stopping by and tonight I want to explain to you a little bit about this wonderful um, utility we've got in front of us here, Extreme Wiki Poster. When I mean wonderful, I mean wonderful. Um, it's Steve Morgan from Simple Leveraging here. Now, we do an awful lot of posting by way of backlinking and a whole number of utilities. And so, so we're familiar with an awful lot of tools. And they all come across our desk from time to time. And this is one that I'm extremely impressed with. I've only just had for a couple of days, and I want to run you through briefly exactly what it does. This really is like the Rolls Royce or Ferrari of um, posters and submission tools. It really is. It deals primarily with posting to wikis, as the name suggests. At the moment, the two format it supports are Wacker Wiki and Media Wiki. It's the latter I want to talk to you about tonight. And I want to demonstrate to you uh, how efficient it is. I also want to explain to you a little bit about the utility itself. So, start. Let's, let's start from the top, as they say. If we go along the top here, you'll see there's five buttons here. Main one, well, that's self-explanatory. That just tells you exactly where you are, and it's the main dashboard. The import function here... And you can do two things with this. You can either load proxies if you need to load proxies. I must confess, from our point of view, submitting to the network of wikis that we submit to, we don't use proxies, we don't need to, because primarily every um, wiki that we post to is on a separate IP, and it's on a separate domain, and we don't spend the living daylights spamming the living daylights everything. So we don't use it. However, if you needed to, that facility is there. If you go down here, it gives you the ability here to load in your sites. We'll cover that slightly later when we go through a, a dummy submission, but that's what the import function here. Next up is the export function. Now, just as uh, any submission tool like this, it's vitally important you have a clear-cut system to import data to it. It's even more important that you have a clear-cut system to export data. And this gives you three options. With wikis, you can either post copy on the user page of the wiki or the title page of the of the main wiki itself. The EWP, Extreme Wiki Poster, gives you the ability to output the data that you want to look at, whether you've made a post onto a title page of a wiki or on the user page. But more importantly, such is the nature of, of submitting to, vic to wikis that if you don't own them yourself, if you don't own 100% control, you have no guarantee that they're all going to be up at any one time. Because they are all truly hosted worldwide. Therefore, it's vital, vital, that you know, if you've got any failed results, quite why those failures exist and where they exist. Because this submitter, once it gets up and running, everything happens quite quickly. So it's important to have a record there, and this is exactly what it does here. User page, title page will export your successful results in a text format, so will the failed results. Okay, vital. Second here, settings. First of all, up here, you would enter your capture settings. Now, at the moment, EWP supports death by capture, which is an extremely economic, extremely good tool. And if you click on that button, it'll take you to your capture settings. Because I'm going to run a, um, a test submission, I'm obviously not going to click on that button because it has all our <laughs> capture settings. And I don't want the world and his wife knowing exactly about our account with death by capture and how to access it. Here, gives you the ability, if you just want to post on user pages only, you click this button. Lastly, extras. Gives you the opportunity here, send a suggestion. We work quite closely with Kishore, who's the developer behind this utility, and he's been a dream to deal with. Absolutely great. We come back to him with suggestions, and they'll take them on board. Uh, the fact is that the EWP's been out a couple of weeks now, and we're already on version 1.2.4, so we've already seen a couple of updates out already. <clears throat> the button down here gives you the opportunity to check to see whether in fact there is a current update of the um, of the poster in force in which case it will dial up to the mothership and download the updates extremely useful so let's go down here now to the bottom part of the dashboard and this is where it really is like a, a card dashboard here it's extremely useful little buttons here uh, or rather these little tabs here. They tell you exactly what's going on with your computer at any one time. Wikiposter tells you how much uh, RAM it's going to use, how much of the CPU it's going to use. Now it really is small, very very small. 
maximum you'd be lucky if you end up using 20% eCPU which is for a tool like this extremely useful tells you how much um, RAM you've got available in total um, with the, your sub um, with your computer and the same with the CPU now at the moment I'm running a whole number of applications underneath that so I'm not surprised we're chewing up CPU capacity over here it's a button here that says change now you can run more than one instance of EWP on your PC or laptop or whatever this gives you the ability to label them so that you know exactly which one you're running where your profiles are set up etc etc okay we move across here to the left and this really is the accelerator or the throttle or the choke if you want to describe it of the system and the system is multi-threaded which means that you can have anything from one thread running up to believe me we've run 100 threads and 100 threads it rips through the wikis it really does we were just using them for testing purposes um, but um, it tests them very very quickly we needed to because we sell a, a, a wiki packet that goes along with this, um, 4,000 wikis, and um, the details are available on Traffic Planet, and um, it's for $55. That wiki packet um, gives you the ability, we guarantee a minimum of 3,000 submissions. Now, unlike most wiki packets where people toss you the wikis and that's it, you've got to fight for yourself, we monitor our packets on a regular basis. We actually provide a packet of 4,000 wikis, but we guarantee you'll get at least 3,000 submissions. In reality, you'll probably get a lot more, but because we have no control over where those wikis are, we can only guarantee a certain percentage. We always supply well over. If it drops underneath that, We'll get back to you with replacements. So, is there anything else we need to talk about? No. So let's go through a dummy submission. Well, actually, we'll go through an actual submission. So, proxy insights tab here. I'm going to load a list. Okay, and we're going to go through. There we go. 482 wikis there from one particular profile we have set up. Article. I'm going to load a generic article without any links because I just want to post a test article to see how it's working out. So there you go, it opens up, browse onto the computer, go to where your article is and it automatically imports it. Now I need to go and set up the profile. Now this is where it's really cool. If you want to have just one account, or you're just submitting a one account, here is where you enter your username and password settings. However, if you can't remember your account, or it's a one-off, and you want to distance yourself from anything else you do, you can click this button, and you can randomize. And it will automatically generate a username. Much the same for the password. Even better, if you're running something that you just want to spread all over the place and you don't necessarily want to have um, any traceability or leave very little footprint, click here. The randomized username for every site it means after you finish posting, EWP will automatically generate another username. You'll be all over the place, no footprint, very little traceability. I know that's slightly grey hat, but believe me, it kicks butt. All you do is you click here. Okay, now we have everything here. Now so let's think about the threads. We want to run at about, let's say, five threads because we'd like to try and monitor the things as it's coming through. So we've loaded in our site. It's telling we've got 482 wikis. We've got our article there, the next tab. We're going to do leave the site tab open so that we can monitor the applications coming through and we can see the success. We've got our... Um, wiki captures uh, set up here okay we've signed up for death by capture we've loaded it with some money we've got some uh, an allocation of captures set aside all it remains is for us to press the button and go we're not going to use proxies okay and off we go immediately throws it up now there's the first five multi-threaded runs in five threads so you'll see these sites coming up in batches of five and as one is finished it'll then open up a, another thread okay so as you can see at this particular point in time it's opening up all the registrations it's uh, a posting on the title page and a user page and as it goes through it's telling us it's okay we've made four submissions we've got four successes now let's all be people of the world 
and admit the fact that there are going to be times when submissions don't work and that can be for a number of reasons it could be that particular server that the wiki's on is down it could be network traffic, could be a whole number of things but you can see here on this one down here is about 6th or 7th down the registration policy has failed, so you can't actually register with that that's, um, wiki, but it has a policy that you can make open postings anyway. And as you can see here, total list so far, we've made seven submissions, eight submissions, we've got eight successes. We haven't used any captures yet. That's what's really cool about this so far. So, I mean, so it really it saves on your, on your capture costs big time. So as you can see, it's rattling along fairly quickly at the moment. The reason we've only got five threads going is that uh, at this particular point in time, death by capture can get a bit busy. So the best thing to do is just ease back on the threads. As I've said, we've had it where we've had a hundred threads going, and boy, this thing takes off. It's like taking a Formula One car down the road to go shopping. It gets you there in no time. It really does. Um, the most number of wikis we've ever posted to any one time, seven and a half thousand. Um... We supply, if you buy a wiki list from us, we supply you with 4,000 wikis. This thing will handle it in its sleep. What I would suggest, quite frankly, is when you go to bed at night, last thing, just before you go to bed, flip this on. If you're going to only make one post a day, flip it on and it will post everything for you overnight. By the time you clock on for business the next morning, you'll find that all 4,000 wikis have been submitted to and you'll know exactly what sort of um, success rate you've got. If you want to do it during the day, key thing check with death by capture on their user information page and they will tell you whether there are certain times of the day whether their resources are used more heavily than others very very important because sometimes that can slow things down a little bit because it's the capture response but they're one of the fastest around and as you can see we've made 24 submissions we've used one capture two captures and captures are what a dollar 39 cents for a thousand captures i mean it's just not even registering on the radar in terms of cost so cost effective so there you can see you see where we put the article how we've loaded the site, how easy it is to work. It is brain dead simple. It really is. It is a cracking, cracking submitter. So, um, get in touch with, with us. And um, as I said, the deal we have, I mean, this submitter is going for $99. However, we have a deal that if you buy the submitter for uh, or if you buy a, um, a 4,000 wiki list for $55 we can get you a discount on this wiki brings it down to 57.77 so actually at that point the cost of the wiki list becomes inconsequential what comes down to about five ten dollars and as you can see it's a cracking submitter and uh, believe me it can fly it really does so listen thanks for your time any questions fire away answer in the thread if there's anything you particular you want to ask me directly uh, my direct email address is steve at simpleleveraging.com repeat steve at simpleleveraging.com thank you very much indeed for your time and i'll speak to you soon take care Bye-bye.